Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a really exciting video. I'm going to be doing a get ready with me video, which I've done before. You know, the types of videos that I show you what products I use on a day-to-day -day basis and show you in real life time, you know, how I use them, etc. Uh, but today is going to be a little bit different because I'm going to be talking about some Soap and Glory products, their cosmetics range, which I haven't actually used before. I'm, I've tried a couple of things here and there, but I've never really purchased anything. Um, just never got round to it, to be honest. Um, so majority of the products are Soap and Glory, and I've thrown in some other stuff like OCC, a bit of Mac, and just some random things that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, yes, yeah, so um, if you want me to do an in-depth review on each product, let me know. Um, if there's something you're particularly interesting, interested in, just post it down below and I can make sure that I can do a little more of an in-depth review on them. But this is going to be really exciting because this is actually the first time I've used these products. Um, I mean, I've had a play with a couple of things, but not properly um, on my face. So yeah. So the first thing I'm going to be using is my Soap and Glory Glow Job, which is a moisturiser. So you can use this in place of a moisturiser, but because my skin is really, really dry, I've just used my normal moisturiser anyway. Um, and the good thing about this, well the different thing about this, is that it actually has um, built-in sort of uh, bronzing beads. So when you actually pump it out it looks like just a normal moisturiser but then when you rub it in you can feel the beads and then they sort of break down and give you a little bit of a nice radiant glow. Um, when you first use it you can be a bit like, oh god are these ever going to blend in, but when, when you do properly blend them in it looks amazing. It's kind of a tiny bit similar to the um, This Works Perfect Look Skin Miracle, but the only thing with this is that it's already blended in. So it comes out like a tinted skin balm, whereas this one, it comes out white and then you have to blend it in. But it's a great concept and I absolutely love it. But um, I'm just going to put it on my face now and you can pretty much use what you want. You could use a brush if you want, but I'm just going to literally use uh, my hands. So you can see already the bits. I mean this would be a great product to use under an SPF when you're on holiday because it's going to give you that glow so you won't need to put makeup on but it's also good to have protection as well so make sure if you're on holiday, if you're going to wear it on holiday make sure you wear like an SPF over it and then you can take a little bit down the neck as well. For foundation I'm going to be using the Hello Flawless Oxygen Wow Brightening Makeup. Now this colour is a little bit too dark for me, this is the colour Champagne but I was kind of in a rush when I picked it up, so I just picked up this colour. If you have a foundation that's a bit too dark for you, don't worry because you can mix it. Um, if you can't re if you can't re return it, obviously don't worry because you can mix it with other foundations. And if you use a really good buffing brush like this um, Bedalium Tools brush, uh, number nine five seven, the more you buff it in, the more it's going to sheer out and look a little bit more natural. I mean, you're not necessarily going to get a full coverage with that, but you can also also go on top with powder. So I'm just going to put this straight onto the brush. Um, I have to say this foundation is quite liquidy as well. So if you're used to using like oil based, this might come as a bit of a shock to you when you first use it. But it's definitely easy to apply with a brush. I mean, I've used this a couple of times now and I do prefer it using, using it with a brush because it can be quite cakey if you do it with your hands. What I do like about this colour is that it has a little bit of a yellow undertone. Um, my skin, even though I'm quite pale, I look a lot darker on camera, um, it has quite a strong yellow undertone. Which I don't mind actually. Um, I'd rather go for more yellow tone foundations than pink tone because they look really unrealistic on me. Uh, so now for concealer, I'm going to be using the Benefits Kick-Ass Concealer, which I've never used before, but I've heard so many good things about it and I really wanted to try it. What I like about this the most is that it kind of reminds me of the uh, Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage, the fact that it has two different colours in there. Um, it has the peach, the apricot tone, which is really good for correcting dark circles, brightening eyes on, you know, lighter complexions, and then obviously you have the... Uh, the natural flesh tone in there so it's good that you can mix them both you could probably put the um apricot color underneath and then you could put the other one um on top or you can mix them to make your own color and it also has which i think is a great idea especially for traveling let me just open it I have a tr bit of trouble opening products because my nails are kind of so it also has a little powder compact section as well 
um, with a little um, powder puff, which is really handy for traveling, to be honest. I may not use it like when I'm doing my makeup at home, but if I want to like retouch, it's a really nice idea. So, and you've got a little mirror there as well, which is good. So I am gonna use these two colors. First of all, I'm gonna apply them with my fingers and then I'm gonna blend it out with a MAC 283 brush. So I'm gonna take the apricot color I'm going to kind of use this as an under eye corrector. And I normally get quite dark just around here. So I'm just blending it in with my fingers. It's actually really, really good. I love it. As you can see, like it's just totally got rid of all the darkness. And then if you wanted a little bit more, you could then go on with the, uh, the flesh tone colour, which I would say is more of a concealer rather than the other one's a bit more of a corrector type of shade. Then using a NARS Kabuki brush, I'm just going to take the powder and I'm just going to use it to set under the eyes. Because it's such a creamy product, it's really important to do this so obviously it doesn't budge or move anywhere. Okay, so for powder I'm going to be using the Solar Powder by Soap and & Glory and this is kind of like a highlighter slash uh, bronzer compact and it has the highlight, the pink iridescent colour in the middle and then it has the darker bronze on one side and you've got the highlight on the other side but of course you can mix them all together to create sort of like a Bobbi Brown shimmer, shimmer brick effect um, but I'm going to just take the darker colour just on the NARS brush And I'm just going to use it to bronze over my face where I'd normally catch the sun. When I, it's pretty much what I do all the time, to be honest. So the difference between these two is that this one's a matte bronzer and this one is a highlight. But you can mix them together to create like a iridescent sort of bronze or you can use it alone which is what I'm doing now so this is just going to give me the shading that I want anywhere that I want it but yeah that makes a really really nice effect actually it looks super natural and it is a really good shade of bronzer as well because it's not too orange toned you know you get those bronzers that look so um like orange and yellow now i normally use the browsings uh, by benefit brow duo which has like the powder and the wax and i like that because it's really precise when you use it with the brush but i'm going to try out uh, this product here from soap and glory called archery which is a brow tint and shaping pencil so it's the same concept as the browsings it has the pen on one side which basically gives you like the, the hair like strokes you can really add in what bits you want and then over the top you go in with the uh, wax which comes in a stick form and that basically sets everything and adds a little bit more fullness if you want it so that's what I'm going to do right now. So I've tried a little bit on this brow here, but I'm just going to go over it. This colour may be a little bit too light for me. This is the Love is Blonde. Um, I might get the darker one, but it's also good to go a little bit lighter with your brows because you don't want to look too precise or too, you know, um, like they're stuck on. So I'm literally just doing like hair-like strokes. And the bit that I really like to be a bit fuller is just here, so I'm just concentrating on that bit. So that's that brow done, and I'm just going to go over it with the wax now. So that's the brows done, I really like them so far. 
they're a little bit less you know straight than I normally do them they're a little bit more natural but I do like the effect actually so now I'm going with eyes I'm just going to prime my lids with max soft ochre which is my favorite one out of all of the paint pots and the reason I'm using this is because I'm going to be using sort of like a sparkly loose pigment over the top and um, so this is just going to help sort of stick everything on just get rid of any redness as well on your eye because I get quite red for no reason at all so I'm just going to be using this Inglot palette here and this is one of their freedom palettes you can get online on their website and you just basically pick the colours you want and just put it in a palette you can get like 4 or 8 or 12 whatever um, and I'm going to be using this colour here which is kind of like a reddy brown colour and I'm just going to be using one colour for this eye because I don't want it to be too complicated So then you've just applied it on the lid and if you want you can take a little bit more colour or you can just blend it upwards. Then I'm taking a big fluffy blending brush with no product on it and just blending over the colour then taking the 217 dupe and just putting a little bit of that colour under the eye and then doing the same again on the other eye ok so now I'm just going to curl my lashes using just normal Shuamura uh, eyelash colours which I use all the time every time I try and curl my sister's lashes she just refuses me to do it because last time I did it she like flinched and I like caught her eyelid and then she started screaming but she can't keep still when I do her makeup like whenever I try and do her makeup her eyes like flicker like that and I'm like look up and then one eye will be looking up and one eye will be like looking at me and I'm just like stay still and I just lose my patience so it's kind of hard to do her makeup <laughs> Okay, so for mascara, I'm going to be using this Sephora um, Perfecting Lash Primer. And I bought this because, um, check in the mirror, Rachel Talbot recommended it ages ago. And I used to go through like this Rachel Talbot stage where I literally bought everything she mentioned. But she hasn't used it for a while, so I don't know whether she likes it or not. But yeah, I'm just going to use this today just because I want to try it again. And um, Dior do something quite similar to this, but I know it's kind of expensive. It's like a, um, is it a Dior Show uh, Lash Primer? I know their Dior Show Mascara is really good, but um, that's why I wanted to get this, because I thought it would be quite similar. But this was like super cheap. It was like $8 or something silly like that. Which is like £6, I think. I'm not really good at converting. Okay, so basically I've just coated my lashes in that. And then I'm going to go over with the MAC um, Halt and Naughty Lash, which is really good. It actually has two mascara ones in it. The first one's a little bit more light and the other one's more volumising. So this one's more for length, I would say, this one. So for under the lashes, I'm just going to go in with the uh, Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara, which is really good because it doesn't make... You know how sometimes when you put like mascara on the bottom of your lashes, it can really transfer onto your like concealer and then everything's ruined? Well, this one doesn't, which is really, really good. Yeah, now the last thing we need to do is obviously lips. And I'm going to be taking this lipstick here from Soap and Glory. And this is the, like the perfect nude colour. It's called Super Nude. And it's a matte lipstick. And matte lipsticks can be a little bit hard to find. I know Revlon do some really great ones. But they're kind of hard to find. Totally matte lipsticks. I mean, some people say they're matte when they have a little bit of shimmer in. But this is 100% matte. And it's the most beautiful colour ever. If you're like an NC... 
20 to 35 on NW. This would look really, really good on you. It's kind of like a pinky nude. So it's not one of those nudes that will wash you out. You know how some people wear nude lipsticks, it looks like they wear concealer. Well, this one isn't like that, so. So I really, really like the lipstick because it's super matte. Um, if you wanted like more of a glossy look, and you kind of like the idea of the Clinique Chubby Sticks and the um, Revlon Kissable Balms. This is a really nice product. This is the Sexy Mother Pucker uh, Gloss Stick. So it's kind of the same concept as the um, Chubby Sticks, but they have a little bit of gloss to them too. So they're really good for on the go as well because it's simple, easy to use. Um, and if you wanted to, you could layer it over lipstick. So I'm just going to layer it over the lipstick I already got on. And I forgot to mention the colour. The colour is Nudist. And this is kind of similar to the lipstick. It's a bit of a pinky nude. And it's really, really super flattering. It's not one of those dead nude colours. So yeah, um, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any questions about the product I products I mentioned, don't forget to post them in the bar down below and I'll see you soon. Bye!